Okay then. What's your favorite food? Hi, ladies. Uh huh. I ladies. I ladies nuts on your. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's so special about this gift? It's a little more provocative. Provocative. What's so special? Send there right now. <gasps> You're so naughty. <laughs> Oh, well, that's kind of loud. Let me turn that down. So, uh, Micah's Guide to Begin an Epic Hacker. All your thoughts and responses will show up at the bottom of the screen. Click them to continue the story. Okay, so, um, playing this game called Era 143. I don't remember what it's all about, but I just know it's the enemies to lovers a game. And, um, I'm kind of into that, so <laughs> let's go. And I have my model in this video. I'm hoping that's working correctly. If not, that will really suck. But yeah, you know. Oh, what? Hacking mini games will show up from time to time and come in two forms. Oh gosh. <laughs> if you're having trouble, you can enable hacking hints from the settings menu and use the button to help you out. You can use the give up button to exit the mini game. Oh, okay. I can. Oh, I cannot do mini games. Okay, that's cool. When the tilt remaining reaches zero, you will fail the mini game. Don't worry, the failing is <laughs> not the end of the world. In this style, you click the on-screen keyboard to select a letter. If correct, the letter will show up in the solution for any instances of the letter. Incorrect numbers will reduce your number of attempts remaining. Okay. Oh. I'll show this leader board dweeb who's the real top hacker, okay. First I gotta hack the database to get their details. Don't worry too much if you can't get them any game answers. Uh Okay, can I actually type? You know, A is always a safe thing to do. Um, A E I O U. <laughs> e. Okay. Uh. I. What the heck? Ah, that, that wasn't it. Uh. Let's. D? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm in. Time to leave a little comic. <laughs> I feel like I spent way too much time on that. How does it feel to be the second bat best hacker around? I don't know about that. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I did all that just for the beginning. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Gonna check to make sure my stuff is still recording for a minute. Okay. <laughs> that was very interesting. I hope my model's not too much in the way. Um, yeah, let's, what the, dummy, dummy, divine. Divine. Oh. Hello, hello, um, Devi. I hope you didn't think that your sloppy hacking was untra untrackable. Okay. You can't do me like that. Uh, do I be upset? This is such nice music. What's... I'm gonna let that play. I'm gonna be... Wait. Because that would be pretty sad. Oh, okay. I see you <laughs> filled out my extensive username slash nickname form. God, you must have been dear, um, deliriously interested in me to do that. Wow, really? Uh, I don't, this is, okay. Uh, did he, did they send me a virus? I don't know, let's play around something, I guess. Oh, and how long will it last exactly? That depends on how interesting you are. It looks like you'll be hooked forever. Oh, that's fine. I was looking for a distraction anyway. Let me make sure my model's not in the way. I can't really see it on my screen. Okay, it's not. That's cool. I think you'll come to find much more than a distraction. Okay. Anyways. I'll be talking shit about you later, but I want to do it right. <laughs> what are your pronouns? <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, eh. Yeah, why not go with they them? We, yeah, we're going with they them. I mean, he just said he's gonna talk shit about me. Why don't you just say you're such an asshole? Yeah, this is lovers and enemies anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I have enough charm to pull it off. We'll see about that. The name's Micah Eugen. He, him. Nice to meet ya. Yeah, can I also get your credit card number with the three wacky numbers on the back as well? <laughs> Otherwise, these details are useless to me. Gosh, they curious about me, aren't you? Curious about getting access to your bank account? Maybe just a little. I'm extremely flattered to see your interest. Okay. Now, since you know I'm interested in you, are you interested in me? This is weird, but sure. Of course, I hope you know I don't hack into just anyone's PC. <laughs> Consider me wooed. All right. What the heck? Are you always this, this pushy, Micah Eugene? pushy. I don't think I'm pushy. I'm a pushy man at all. <clears throat> I left a big old quit button right up there. I just wanted it to be abundantly clear talking to me because you <laughs> want to talk to me. 
and I wouldn't want it any other way. Oh. Yeah, my interest may be a little piqued by you, but you're definitely obsessed with me. Oh, am I now? Oh, you aren't? So you don't want me here? I guess that's my cue to leave. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I wouldn't say that I'm not interested in you. Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> oh, what? You infuriate me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. How so? never had a guy beg to get to know me after hacking him. You're kind of weird, aren't you? I've never had someone hack me just to leave me a dumb me message. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you liked it. And you're liking the fact that I like it. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> okay. You found me for the CTF tournament, right? CTF? The capture the flag hacking tournament? Where you, where you got second and I took first? Not surprised a sore loser hacked me because of that. Says the person who has to prove, him, prove himself hacking me back. You only got into my system because I had an off day. Oh, really now? Maybe you can prove it to me with a rematch. Oh. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, it seems, seems I'm not very good at this. So, but okay. I never say no to rematch. You ready to be obliterated? Uh, we're going to see if that happens. Uh, um... Dang! <laughs> Sorry, who's the loser again? That wasn't even fair, I only had one chance. Like, legit. Oh my gosh. That's because the prize was extraordinarily valuable. I didn't even know there was a prize. That's because it was a surprise. So, what was it? Let me let you guess. It's valuable. Money? It's more precious than that. Time? Your virginity? Think bigger. Being away from you. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Of course. It was me. You could have have had my hand and Are you are you kidding me? First time and probably the only time I'm going to say this. I'm glad I lost. <laughs> what? <laughs> what made you think that was a good prize? My ego. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh. 
why are you going through such lengths to message me? You piqued my interest with your little message. A little message. Please don't downplay my actions. I hacked you through and through. Hello, I'll give you that one. I guess it's just not as big of an achievement as downloading the whole server into someone's PC. <laughs> okay, is that a challenge, bro? No. I already added emojis in onto the server. I'm a I am attached. That's so cute. How did you draw that? <laughs> As a matter of fact. Oh, did you draw that? As a matter of fact, I did. Is that your cat? Yeah, her name is Squonkly. Squonkly is so cute. She's the only reason your art looks so nice. <laughs> her stripes kind of remind me of a skunk. I'm glad you agree. Let me turn on my light. It's getting dark. Yeah, let's move over here. There's nothing over here right now. It just feels weird to be over here. But that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love her stripes. I dyed my hair to match her. Copycat much? I cannot deny that. She is the blueprint. I, I guess this? I thought, I've thought about having white hair. I mean, not necessarily dying, it's just that when I get old, I want my hair to be white. <laughs> which would be normally be fine, but then we have matching hair colors, which is just. Wow. It throws up. <laughs> Don't jump to conclusions. I'm as cute as they come. You wish you were as cute as her. Why don't you be the judge of that? You wanna show me Patreon? Oh, video call. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi. I see you didn't want to waste your time. Uh... I'm sorry, what did you say? I couldn't quite catch that. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, why would you say no, his voice is hot too. <laughs> you really don't have a filter, do you? It's Get... cute. So, am I as cute as my cat? Mm, no, I think I'm cutting off. I think my PC, I, I think it has a bug. <laughs> um, or aren't you fishing for compliments? Yeah, aren't you fishing for compliments at this Could point? Be. But if it's coming from you, I might consider being a full time fisherman. Ouch, SOS, that was so corny. Bask in my boy. corniness! Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Thank you, everyone. I'm here every day. Oh my gosh. Anyways, do you like food? You're really good at making conversation, Angel. Uh. <laughs> I just shut up. How else is this conversation gonna move? We frankly just met, and it's getting, and it's a getting to know you type of sit question, is it not? I don't know what's cuter, but there's a million conversation starters you could choose from, and you choose to ask what my favorite food is, or the fact that you wanted to get to know me. Oh, so you think you can do better then? From just that one question, 
I think I can, actually. Oh, okay. I raise you this question. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy food? You suck. <laughs> okay, okay. Seriously, seriously. What's your favorite food? Wow, this is really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, mac and cheese. The cardboard box kind? Yeah, you'd seem like the type to enjoy that. What? What's that supposed to mean? Okay then. What's your favorite food? Hi ladies. Uh huh? I ladies. I ladies nuts on your face. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you are a whole whore for that. Why did I um I, <laughs> I can't believe this <laughs> Hilarious. No, really, what's your favorite food? Hmm. You... Uh. Ew, what? You didn't let me finish. What were you thinking of? Uh, just continue. You, me, in a gas station. What is that? Wait. What are we doing? What? Huh? What are we doing? We're getting food. But they're zombies. Uh-huh. You're the shark shooter. Sharp shooter? You're the badass. <sighs> Glad we can both agree that I'm the badass. I'm grabbing the food. Because you're useless. But I suck at grabbing food. I'm not surprised. And what else do I suck at? Opening doors. <laughs> We're so dead. We get locked up in a bathroom stall. What happens? Uh, what happens? I get hungry. You only grabbed useless things, didn't you? I only grabbed plastic wrappers. Huh? Who would, would have guessed? You're nice. Gracious, even. Looks like you're really good at stating the obvious. You have your arm up so that I can eat it. Wow, okay. I say yes. I'm a scumbag. Yep, you are. Your arm is the best thing I've ever tasted. Yum. Good to know that if there were ever a zombie apocalypse, you would not be my partner. Hey, I would be a great asset to our team. A great asset means dead weight, then sure. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that if the time comes. You'll be begging for me to be on your team. Yes, I would love Captain Shark Shooter on my team. Exactly. You're getting I know what your favorite food is. What's your favorite color? What is this, a first date? Yeah, this is actually a speed dating event hosted by your <laughs> Oh, okay. The first on the roster. Um, okay. Uh, I'm also probably the only one on it, too. Whoa, 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 you're moving things pretty quickly. Hmm? What do you mean? I mean, immediately claiming the number one spot? <laughs> Just say you want to marry me already, Angel. Oh my gosh, um... Would it be too much to say that I would rather die? Wow. Well, you sure are taking until death do us part a little too seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, but the music is a little bit too loud. Okay, <laughs> just so you know, I'm not counting this as my first date. Why is that? 
Wait, I know why. Afraid it'll be too breathtaking? After this date, you'd be so devastated. Nothing could ever be able to compare to... The Micah Eugen Experience! And then he has a tongue piercing. Okay. What is happening? Here's your ticket, Angel. I already knew you were a clown. Um, actually, this isn't a clown song. It's called Entry of the Gladiators for a reason. So stand behind me, Angel, and enjoy the show. I'll gladly sacrifice myself to protect you. Sacrifice yourself? Isn't that a bit much? It's never too much to protect my fellow comrades! Comrades? Uh, I wouldn't classify us as- Come at me! Uh, Don't worry, Angel. I got the- oh, What uh, in the- A sword went right through me! I'm done for. <laughs> no! I'm tired! Yeah. Oh! I, okay, I was Mister in the background. Hi, Mister. <laughs> did did you just fall out of your chair for a bit? Yeah, I did. Did you laugh? <sighs> yeah, I did actually. Stop! You don't need to reply. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh. You're so full of yourself. Am I now? Or am I just confident? Whatever you want to call that, that's not the reason why I'm considering why I'm not considering this my, as my first date. Oh, really? What's the reason? I've already meticulously planned my first date. Oh. It's called Window Rendezvous. First, my date will climb through my window. Then right there, Angel. What did you just say? <laughs> Sorry, do you need to speak yourself or something? I want someone to climb through my window. Uh, like some stalker? What? That's so rude. Is it though? It is. It, it's like sneaking your high school boyfriend in through your window. It's romantic. On a first date? No, that's definitely some stalker shit. I mean, not if you already know the person. Yeah, it's like the next door neighbor trope. I don't think that even classifies as a first date. The fact that you're not getting this is driving me insane. Please, explain it to me then, Angel. Okay, so first date. It's not necessarily the first time we meet. It's the first time we're getting to know each other more romantically. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's somewhat intimate and personal. Like a date where we're cuddled up in the blankets and watching dumb and, a dumb and cheesy romance, romance movie. Just simply enjoying each other's company. For someone with a very strong opening of wanting your date to climb through your window, that's actually very cute. I know it's cute. You just need to let me finish. I don't want to burst your bubble, but opening up with such a banger like I want someone to climb through my window will make any person's jaw drop. Yeah, I don't know about that, but in a good way. Mm, debatable. But note taken. <laughs> what are you even taking notes for, sir? Just studying my arrival. Okay. Hey, that's my alarm for work, and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna go get some food. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, run away. I'll be looking forward to our rematch. And I'll be looking forward to seeing the look on your face when you lose. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Please, I caught your attention to this extent, and you still want to play coy? Me? Play coy? Oh, I would Ever. Sure. Ka. Ka ka? Well, this little piece of shit got you a present. It should arrive at your door soon. Huh? 
You uh, gasp. You stalker. You act like finding your address wasn't child's play. I'm sure you'll love what I got you. Yeah, this is weird. Whatever, stalker. Oh, if being your stalker is what it takes for me to see you stick your tongue out like this, I'd gladly be your stalker any day. <laughs> okay. Mm. Consensually, that is. <laughs> consensual stalker. Consensual stalker? Uh oh, okay. You're such a dork. I don't mind you stalking me. I know he is like it. Like they're literally hackers or whatever. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, he's a weirdo, but they're both weirdos. So I had to get going now. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. The call drops with a sound following that signifies the end. As you fall comfortably onto your bed, you suddenly hear a ring at your doorbell. You raise an eyebrow confused by a sudden noise. You lazily turn your head to your alarm clock, eyes squinting at the time, 7 a.m. Was he being serious about the gift? You move quietly from your bedroom to your living room, opening the front door slowly. Your eyes trail down your doorstep and they stop at the food delivery bag that sits lonesome on the pavement. What? You pick it up, eyeing it curiously before spotting a note taped onto the opening. Roses are red. Here's some food for you. These nuts bit you adieu. <sighs> I fucking hate him. Oh my gosh. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome for these nuts. If that wasn't <laughs> that was not a good these nuts joke, but <laughs> okay. Your mouth practically water at the sight of the glistening macaroni. How did he get it that quick? I told my husband my favorite food was macaroni, and then he just got it ordered to me. Nah, this is romantic. Like, it may be a little bit stalkerish, but it's still romantic, bro, bro. Or maybe there's something wrong with me. Because, I mean, a stranger finds your address and then gives you your favorite food. That's like stalker, love, um, love bombing energy, right? But, you know, like I said, they're, they're weirdos. So, it's just weirdo behavior, not red flag behavior. <laughs> I, I, I guess I would still make it has to be like this with you know a game like this. <laughs> Even without popping open the lid, you could tell that it was about to be flavorful in more ways than you could imagine. This definitely came from a really nice restaurant. You eat your food, grinning like a stupid idiot because you're a happy. <laughs> he remembered and grateful that he can't. See you now because you're ready to die to let him see the euphoria that he's giving you you shouldn't be this happy just from this you shouldn't and yet a jolt of butterflies rushes throughout your body every time you take a bite and you know you should stop smiling you should stop the little butterflies and they're fluttering and flound and flattering floundering because well they're gonna give you stomach ache later but you don't you can't you think of his stupid chuckle and stupid words his stupid face. His stupid smile. His stupid golden eyes. You think that you should stop thinking now, but you already know you're too far gone. His smolder is already the only thought in your head. <laughs> you knew you had work for the rest of the day, but your grin couldn't hide the fact that you were already looking forward to your next for your next conversation. Oh, day two, okay. How long is it? I have no idea how long this game is. Psst. Psst. I see you online. Stating the obvious again. Is that the only thing you're good at? Ever thought about clocking my clicking my icon? 
why would I click it? You wanna give me a virus? Oh, you wanna click it so bad. I'm not clicking it, but I will though. Oh, you want a video call me so bad? <laughs> I don't. I'll let you see Scrunkly. Fine. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> you make Scrunkly sad. Well. Oh my goodness! Look at you! Uh Missing me already! Oh. I can't believe you just called me! Wow, you seriously like me, don't you? Yo, you mother... <laughs> uh, no cursing in my Christian server! What if Scrunkly hears you? I think it's a little too late for you to pretend that you're in goody two-shoes. You literally told me that you'd be talking shit about me before. I even introduced myself. Me? I would never. Let me pull up the receipts. What receipts? You deleted them? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I fucking Looks like you. you don't have the evidence you're looking for. Oh, such a shame. Can't say I relate, though. Let me just pull up uh, all the times you've sworn in this server. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You'll override my system! This is too unholy! <laughs> okay. You'll overheat my computer! You said I was a sharpshooter, right? Well, here I am, sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there, Angel. God, what have I turned you into? What have you turned me into? A shark shooter, apparently? Ah, just my time. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Time to change careers. Oh, stop! You're so sexy shark shooting. Uh, oh, okay. Can, can I even win with you? Nope, you'll never win. Not in wordplay, sexiness, hack. Oh, let's have a contest right now that I'm going to lose. <laughs> um, you, me, and a randomly generated code. You're on. Here you go. Okay, what if I can get it this time? Uh, dang it. Oh my gosh. I. A. It's always an A. Um, N. N. S. U. Dang. O. Wait, there's 96 attempts? Oh. Shoot. Heck, something about this doesn't feel like it was randomly generated. What makes you say that? Something about the shirts. Well, you won, and that's something that you should take pride in. This is suspicious. Since you did so good, let me send you a gift. Don't talk to me like that, man. <laughs> More food? I wouldn't mind. I'm not really hungry right now, though. Permission to send you a gift? You didn't ask for permission last time. What's so special about this gift? It's a little more... Provocative. Provocative? What the fuck did you do Sit there right now. You're so naughty. <laughs> You're the one who asked. But still, 
Are you blushing? Why would I be? I planned this. Uh-huh. That you did. So? I wouldn't blush at something I set up. Uh-huh. And you wouldn't stutter either, right? C correct Sorry, could you say that a little bit louder? It, it was nothing. Mm-hmm. So, when are you gonna send it? And... sent! <gasps> oh my gosh! What are you looking at, you pervert? Oh my gosh! You got your nipples out? <laughs> when did you take that picture? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, actually. How long did this take? Good question. Next one. Next one? Did you use a timer for this thirst trap? <laughs> Even greater question. Next one. What? <laughs> Last question. How shameless are you? Do you want to see the other 351 pictures that I took trying to get this one? No. Aww, now that's too bad. Because I can also shamelessly admit that more than half of these pictures are just of Scrumkly and I. Really? And you decided to send me the one shirtless picture of you without Scrumkly. <laughs> hey, maybe you should have been more specific with the pictures you wanted. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked my mad thing. I'm so glad I just looked back on here. I, I don't know how long I was looking angry. <laughs> oh, since I clicked M, that's probably how long I've been looking angry. How was I supposed to know the types of pictures you had? What am I, a psychic? Mm, no, but maybe you should be. So next time you can bless yourself with photos of Scrunkly and I. You almost made my computer shut down. There is no blessing here. The shirtless picture of you wasn't that bad, but everything else- Hold up! Did you just say that my shirtless picture wasn't that bad? No comment. I, Micah Eugen, will remember the day that my rival said a shirtless picture of mine wasn't that bad. Don't get it at yourself. I only said it wasn't bad. It's not like I called you hot or anything. You might as well have, Angel. You're so hot when you're in denial. Oh, stop talking to me like that. Oh, I, I hate you, but <laughs> do you really think I'm hot? Yes. Well, you're quick with it. Easy when you're telling the truth. Mm. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the mm -hmm. heck is happening? Anyways, losing did feel pretty good this time, I'll admit. You should lose more often, than if you liked it that much. Only if it's to you. I'm flattered. So, Angel, now that you've seen that, doesn't it make you want to kiss me? Did, did you just... You music just to flirt with me? Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> it, it was pretty obvious. D did you like it? <laughs> this is so cute. I, <sighs> um, I like the idea. Wait, don't answer. I've reached my capacity for embarrassment today. Uh, okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I, I needed this in my life. 
Oh my gosh. I'm finna save. Even though I feel like I'm finna play this whole game today. But <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. I, I just need to regain my composure. Oh, are you okay? Yep, just maxed out my social capacity. Hmm. Sad, I like seeing your pretty face. Oh? <laughs> By the way, are you, you, you've been flirting with me this whole entire time and didn't think to ask if I was single? Oh, I, I never asked that. Oh, okay. I don't have one. What does that mean? I'm just, I don't have one. I'm just gonna say that. I expected that one. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, you being single. You're literally single too. Single as hell. Hey, you don't know that. But yes, yes I am. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. This is the way we've been getting to know each other. It feels like we're playing a long game of 21 questions. <laughs> Speaking of that, why don't we play? Play what? 21 questions, obviously, Angel. What else were we gonna play? Connect 4? <laughs> You're very original, Michael. Did you know that? Do you have any other ideas? Do you have a point? But since you suggested, you start. Don't mind if I do. If I was a worm, would you still love me? Would I still love you? What? I don't even love you now. <laughs> so there's a later. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Was that really your question? <laughs> Rip. Micah Eugen Worm's heart. <laughs> He'll never be loved. You're not loved now either, so what's the difference? <laughs> Nice question, my turn. Oh, wow. My second question is, what's your love language? Accessories. Oh, this is, is this my chance to show off what, show off that I can cook? You can cook. You look like you live off of energy drinks and candy. Okay, ouch. Am I wrong? Yeah, you are. I'll have you know I can cook and maybe, just maybe you'll be able to try it out someday. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. Why don't you send me some pictures? Hmm. Eventually my cooking is an acquired... What's that supposed to mean? Oh my gosh, I knew it. But once you eat it, you always want me in the kitchen, ain't <laughs> We'll see about that. But saying acts of service is my love language doesn't just mean cooking. All I'm saying is that you'll never be hungry. That's good, because I don't like being hungry. I hope not. <laughs> so what's your love language? What do you think it is? Guys, I like usually physical touch. But I don't say quality time. I don't know. Ding, ding. You know me so well, Angel. Oh my gosh. I just like being in the presence of people I 
like even if it's online seeing how someone i like types how they smile how they keep talking to me even though they say they hate me i wonder what your i hate you really hate you is really mean too i mean for some reason i could find myself a little bit jealous if you say you hated someone else <laughs> i mean look at what we're doing talking about love languages even though you hate me that's so cute <laughs> i don't think i could handle you hating anyone else i hope i'm the only man you'll ever hate angel <laughs> i mean <laughs> quality time is so bonkers love me some good company wow look at the time it's 4 4 4 a.m do you yes i do gotcha i remember that don't be trying to fin whatever it is uh, manip dip your way into whatever this is by using angel numbers okay do you believe in angel numbers i believe in these numbers oh my gosh <laughs> what's your favorite flower the lily is right here i'm so weak spider lilies bro i can see that red spider lily suit you yours don't don't tell me to guess lily of the valley uh, I, I i can see that How come? They're cute, but they're an invasive and annoying species and highly poisonous. So, like, that's totally you. <laughs> so, what I'm hearing is you think I'm <laughs> cute? <laughs> you choose what you like to hear, huh? Don't you, Eugen? My ears are only open to the things that matter, Angel. Such as what you do for work, by the way. If you make more than me, then just know I can cook and clean. In that case, in that case, I make you big money programming. <laughs> I like where this is going. So you want me in your kitchen? That depends. Are you willing to wear a maid outfit? <laughs> Obviously, you're hired. Round spot. When do I start? You started yesterday. You're late. <laughs> wow, you really want to see me in a maid outfit, huh? Will you send me a picture? Oh, I mean to tease you. <laughs> more, more like to ogle me. Although I can't say your taste is bad. I do look good in a maid outfit. Are you implying that you've worn one before? Who do you think I am? I've done hot dog suits before. A main outfit is right up my alley. You're so quirky. <laughs> hey, I have good taste. I don't believe you. I feel like if I gave you the power to control my wardrobe, you'd make me wear something gaudy. That's not true. I'll just tell you to wear my clothes instead. Is that what you're into? I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. I just want to give you access to the best wardrobe accessible. Is that so wrong? You're into that oversized clothing shit, aren't you? <laughs> so, that made outfit. Next question. Uh, okay, it's your turn now. Hmm, what's the weirdest dream you ever had? I had a dream once where Scrunkly became a catzilla. I was literally obsessed with the idea. I couldn't make a full feature, feature, feature length film about it, but I did make a little photo shoot for her. You can see it as a poster next to poster next time we um, VC. I made sure she had the best, most professional shoot too. I might have just had that dream because she would tap my face to wake me up though. That's so cute. I know, right? Have you always been this extra? 
kind of. I just felt feel like life is about all the little happy stuff. Like making memories with my cat. Aw. Even if it is derived from a weird dream. It's very important to me. I think that's admirable. Thank you, thank you. Do you know what's not admirable though? What? Asking two questions in a row. I get two turns now. <laughs> you do. Do you like Scronkly? Of course. I do. I love Scronkly. Do you be much, baby girl? Correct. There was only one right answer. Agreed. So hypothetically, what if I liked you? Well, in this hypothetical situation, I might think you're a little cute. Oh, really? But realistically speaking, it could never work out between us. How is that so? Because I would have been fooled. Of course you would have been fooled. You're an idiot. If I'm a big... If a being a big idiot, idiot means I being means being a romantic, then I'll be an idiot. I didn't pick you for a hopeless romantic. Yeah, he kind of seems like one very much. Actually, come on, yeah, but the, you see stuff he's been doing. He's a hopeless romantic. <laughs> oh, and why is that? You look like a fuck boy. <laughs> Dang. <gasps> you own me, Angel. I mean, isn't that true? How many relationships have you been in? Oh, zero. No way. No, no way. Your way. How? Oh, you think I'm that pretty? No, I think you're a playboy. A pretty playboy? <laughs> No. Darn. So you really haven't been in a relationship before? At all? Nope, but I've been on dates though. Gotcha, so you have commitment issues. <laughs> Whoa, bold claim. Am I wrong? I mean, you can't base off base that just off somebody going on a date. They probably just all went wrong. I mean, <laughs> I'd say so. Oh, okay. Well, he admitted it. All right. All right. Come up to the stand. Is this court? Yep, you're being judged. As you wish, Your Honor. So, I was an unfashionable nerd growing up. So nothing's changed. I also wasn't into dating growing up and I don't think I was interested in romance until after high school. Wow, so the opposite of me. Yeah, I just never had a fascination with someone climbing through my window. You know? No, I don't know actually. Oh, really? I couldn't tell. Anyways. I think my first date was a year or two ago. If you can consider it a date. I went on a couple dates, but they never really worked out. <laughs> Dang, what's wrong with you? Harsh, Angel. I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of superficial charm, but that's all it is in the end. Superficial charm? Like, people only liked the surface level. It felt like they were only ever interested in it. And knowing they were never interested in it. And knowing that unfashionable nerd who studied eight hours a day. Eight hours? Shut up. I feel like you've done that much at least. No, I just cheated. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Touche. Basically, I would joke around like, I do what you right, but they would genuinely think I'm dumb and they would still want to date me. Even though I like fooling around, I don't want to be taken as a fool. 
I mean, isn't it obvious that you're smart and having fun? You'd think so too, right? But joke's on me. They did not, in fact, think I was joking around. To be fair, if I met you on the street, I wouldn't know if you were kidding either. To be fair, I don't think I would meet you on the street. Do you even go outside? Gosh dang. Do you even touch grass? Did you even look outside your window today to see if your date was outside, huh? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. See, you can tell when I'm teasing. Even in that text, which is like crazy. Hello? Sorry, I was just checking if someone was outside. <laughs> God, I love you. Uh, what? Did he just he just deleted it, did he? Nothing. What did you just type, Micah? I love this so much. This is so beautiful. I gotta go to bed now. I'm so tired. What the f? Answer, Eugene. Eugene. What did you say? You know what he said. You know what he said. What did you say? You know what he said. You're just gonna keep doing that until he answers? You know what he said. Oh my gosh. Good night. You're not gonna say sweet dreams. Sorry, Angel, sweet dreams. gonna make talking and everyday thing now not sure why you're acting like you didn't stare at your screen all day waiting for my text <laughs> hey i have to play it cool sometimes all right <laughs> you never have to play it cool with me so you like it when i annoy you shut up you like me <laughs> talking to you isn't boring you like me? Die. Bleh. Come back. At your service, your majesty. <laughs> what is this medieval roleplay you're getting into? What? Don't like it? I hate it. I see. You damper mind. My mood is for your solely talk. What the fool? <laughs> oh, how thy words wounds me. Quick, ye best lift thy mood by joining me in thy jest sweets. In my sweeting. Are you being serious? I'm not joining you. <laughs> but thee must. Else me shall continue forth and plague thy laptop with vile viruses of memes not again <laughs> will die surrender oh fine don't don't make it me suffer <laughs> die needed to speak it aloud through voice call micah me shall be with you Tis make you joyous, me lord. Ew, why would you ever say that? Are you serious? That's so cringe. I'm hanging up. No, wait. 
I was just joking, my liege. <laughs> oh. I take it all back. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> but, but Angel, I have all these juice boxes to share. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. First medieval evil speak, now kindergarten speak. You sure are regressing to the past, Eugene. <laughs> just think of how cute we'd be as kindergartners. I'd definitely throw sand in your eyes. And I'd build a sand castle with the precious sand you've given me. Oh my gosh. What if I throw mulch? Then we'd have a barrier for our castle. <laughs> wow, you're really a <laughs> glass full kind of guy, aren't you? Only if you're the one serving the glass. Oh my gosh. You and your fantasies. Does it make you happy being that delusional? It makes me very happy, yes. The only thing that would make me happier is if you admit your feelings to me. You first. Okay. I'm attracted to you. Uh, see, you're just saying that, so I'll say it back to you. We can't have that. If I'm going to say it, I need to know that you mean it. Then how do you want me to say it? Uh... I want it to be heartfelt. As cute as your smirk is, I need to know that you're being honest about this. So, like this? I'm attracted to you. Dude! Well, now it feels more like a puppy love crush. How about something deeper? <laughs> I'm attracted to you. <laughs> okay, clearly you're not taking this seriously. This is the most serious I've ever been. Oh, forget it, Micah. You're not getting a peep out of me. What? No. Give me one more chance. And have you do something dorky again? Yeah, no. We both know you like my humor. Come on, Angel. Let's do this one more time. I promise I'll do it. Fine, but... Only because I'm curious about what better is to you. <laughs> gotcha. Rate me as I go, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Your beautiful angel. Oh, you're switching it up? Of course. I wouldn't want you to get bored of my phrases anytime soon. Entertaining me now, are you, Eugene? If that's what it takes for you to say it, angel. Mm, two out of ten. Seriously? Alright, let me turn up the jar. My sweetheart, I am just a common person who has fallen for you. <laughs> Four out of ten. What? Why? <laughs> it borders on that medieval stunt you pulled earlier and I'm recovering from it. And I'm still recovering from it. This one was romantic. Three out of ten. Okay, okay. Then I've got one more, but you'll have to bear with me on this one. I'm waiting. Alright. You're like the color green. Or I guess, more like the moon to me. What? Bear with me, bear with me. People look around and they're like, Oh, grass. Oh, the fucking moon. But like... I look at that grass, and I'm like, it's not just grass, it's my favorite color. And I look at the moon, and I go, it's not just something that's there every night, it's mesmerizing. What are you implying? Well, <laughs> it's like, I look at you, and I think, oh. There goes someone who other people have walked past and won't know you the way that I got to know you. And that's fine, to each their own. No one else has to look at you the way that I look at you. But that's the thing. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you the way that I look at the color green and the moon. And I can't give you a reason why I do. I, I, I just do. Just somehow... You ended up as my favorite color. Uh, 
how are you going to compare me to grass and make my heart throb? I'm a multi-talented man, Angel. I'm an artist, singer, hacker, but most importantly, I'm yours. Oh, damn, you're cute. I should start leaving messages in other people's PCs, huh? Please don't. You're gonna tease a guy to death. <laughs> uh oh I'm the only one who can handle your teasing, Angel. Anyone else? Oh, they'd be goners. They'd blush so hard they'd levitate into the stratosphere. Speaking from experience, Eugene. Couldn't be me. Could never be me. I'm still here on top of the lithosphere. You're such a nerd. Hmm. Yeah. Just a little bit. But you like nerds, don't you? <sighs> Keep talking, you'll be under the ace. <laughs> ace Dino Spear. <sighs> Divine. You're so dreamy. Okay, um. <laughs> Right, I'm the one that likes nerds. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> uh, I can't argue with that. Anyways. What's up? I just, um, <laughs> was wondering about something. Hypothetically, if someone were to, I don't know, make you a song, how willing would you be to hear it? Uh, d did you write me a song? That depends on your answer. I, I guess I'd be willing to. I see. Anyways, on a totally unrelated note, oh. I have something for you, Angel. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, no, really? Now? Really? Yeah, you've been on a poetic kick today. I've been dying to know what else you're thinking about when it comes to me. <clears throat> In that case, wait no further. Oh gosh. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't you know? Once in a text burst, gotta wait for you first, though, so I'm staring at a blank screen. so that you can calculate the vectors of how beautiful that song was. In the meantime, I'm gonna go recharge. Wait, what, why? I, I just indirectly told you that I liked you. Can a guy breathe a little? <laughs> Dang! 
<laughs> she said, Bailey got off. Okay. I'm gonna save again, even though I'm probably um, gonna finish this in one sitting. Charge my other laptop. Okay. Are you okay? I can't stop grinning. I didn't even tell you how I feel. Why are you grinning? You were supposed to tell me how you felt about me. What happened to that? I think you're cool. <laughs> nice. And anyways, because just telling you about how I feel is enough. I can't believe I did that and you're still talking to me. Does that mean you liked it? <laughs> yes. I would have told I would have told you that to your face, but you ran off. You liked it. Uh. <laughs> Fuck, that makes you so happy. I'm so happy that you're happy because of my song. Oh, this is so cute. I can't stand it. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait, are you happy? Just because you liked it doesn't mean you're happy. Um, yes, I'm very much happy. Oh my god, and you're happy too. Best day ever. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Stop! I am at 110 max capacity already. I love singing to me makes you so happy. You should do it every night. Yes, please do. I would enjoy that. Really? I'll dead ass do for real? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why am I doing all this like this is my man? <laughs> like for real, for real. <laughs> and this is just a game. Oh gosh, I love dating games and romance and all that. Oh god. But why did you make that song in the first place? Oh. Well. It's like... Oh, uh, like one of the few things I can do for you over a call text. I can sing you things again, sure, but I like to... Yeah, quality time. I really want to keep talking with you, but there's not enough hours in the day for that. We both work. We're not always online. Although you are suspiciously on when I am. Duh, because I want to spend time with you. But besides the point. Actually, that is the point. I want to talk more, but we can't. So I made a song and hoped that everything I wanted to say could be heard. Well, I heard it. And yeah, it does suck. I like your company. Me too. Oh, you already know that though. <laughs> yeah, but even if I know it, we can't do anything about it. busy not to say that I wish you could be here but I wish you could be here yeah you took forever to type that I was thinking thinking real hard huh yeah it's a big decision want me to give you a little stuffy 
That's your big decision? Mm-hmm. It's to keep you company so you can think of me, you know? I'd like that a lot. Okay, then I'll have it for you in a couple days. Thank you, Micah. I'm gonna get going. Today's been a lot, and I gotta prepare you good. Don't miss me too much while I'm gone. Don't make me regret admitting that. <laughs> IDK, something tells me you never will. Cheeky. But, okay, okay. I'll talk to you later, Micah. Sweet dreams, baby. Divine. Not gonna lie, I was thinking about the song you made me yesterday. It was really nice, and the fact that you made it about me makes me feel... <laughs> that... You weren't gonna admit, out, admit it loudly, but you were restless. You're not sure if it's the concern speaking, but having Micah so silent was unnerving. Of course, you're quick to rationalize his absence. He might be busy. Or perhaps work had taken perhaps work had taken off and it left him no choice but to focus on whatever task he had. But the point remains, you can't stop thinking about him. You want to convince yourself that the three days was far too soon to devote any serious emotion, but you can't. You want to know what Micah was up to. You want to know why he's been unable to send even just one message. You know that he's the type of person that would, if he could. Were you worried? You weren't sure. The only thing that you were sure of was that you wanted to talk to him again. After his confession last night, you knew Micah felt the same, which was probably why the silence the day after gnawed at you so much. I mean, I don't see what's the harm in messaging him any further. I mean, just one more. I think you may be busy. I hope you had a good day today. Good night. Okay. Yesterday passed and that weird feeling grew heavier. It was difficult for you to ignore just how much Micah's absence was getting to you. Your heart ached at the thought of never being able to see him again. You tried to take your mind off of it by gaming, but you couldn't stop yourself from switching between apps and checking for a response. And practically anything you did afterwards yielded the same results. So when the day slowly inched closer to evening, you found yourself seated back in your desk, staring at the screen. You didn't want to admit it, but you missed him a lot. You didn't realize it before, but you knew nothing about him other than his name. If you wanted to, you could have easily disappeared from your life whenever. It's not like you like being controlling. You just wanted. Ugh. You wanted Micah Eugen. Hey, yo. Wow, okay. Hey, message. You almost fell out your chair. Hi. Oh, I see you've been missing me. <laughs> this guy and you're back real quick on teasing Micah I see that uh oh curtains and just so you know I've screenshotted it five million times oh my gosh five million it's not going anywhere just in case you wanted to, to delay it not that you can but it's not going anywhere we're glossing over that no, we are not. You're not gonna change your mind. Oh, you like me. You like me, and there's proof. Oh, and it's gonna stay. Oh, you like me, and you're not gonna change your mind. <laughs> At least that's what I, what I think that that's what it means. Yeah, whatever you do, work. You're not even denying it. You must like me more than I thought. More importantly, this is already the most important thing that has happened in my life. Where have you been? <laughs> On a plane. 
Huh? You let a sigh of relief. I thought you died, asshole. <laughs> Die before seeing you in real life? I'd never dream of it. Shut up. You're so stupid to be joking around like this. When you were silent, it was so... Terrible because you can't bear the thought of being away from me. <laughs> weird. It's fucking weird. I'll take it. Take it. You better have a good reason for this. Oh, you're so cute when you're worried. I really was worried. I'm sorry, truly. Can I make it up to you? How? You remember the stuff here, I promise you? Yeah. Well, it has been delivered. Delivered? You didn't hear a bell ring. Look outside of your window. No way. No fucking way. Thoughts race as you turn in your seat. He's at the window. Oh! Oh my gosh. And there he is, smiling at you through the window. He races over and throw open the window. Oh! I'm sorry. I hate you. It's even better hearing that in person. Oh my gosh. I hate you so much. Oh really, Angel? How much do you hate me? <laughs> the world wouldn't be able to contain my hate for you. That sounds a lot like a confession. It does. Only you would think that a declaration of war would sound like a confession. To be fair, that's only true when it's coming from you. <laughs> Stunned. Anyways... I can see why no one's ever tried to climb through your window. <laughs> you never told me that your room was on the first floor. <laughs> and why would I? That's top secret knowledge that my first date would have to uncover. Dang it. Hold up. So, hypothetically... And only hypothetically speaking, right? Right. Mm -hmm. If I climb through your window, would this be considered our first date? Oh... I guess I could allow that. It's not like it's the most perfect date I could ever dream of or anything. Well then, would you do me the honor of letting me take you on our first date? <sighs> take me, like, out? You just got here. You got some blankets and some preferably cheesy romance movies on deck? Oh my gosh. Hmm. I do. Then, hypothetically, if it was just you and me taking advantage of these things, would you want to? <sighs> well, to this very hypothetical question, I would love to. Why don't we make it real, then? Yeah? Uh, oh, this is too much. Oh, this is too much for my little, <laughs> little heart. Oh, this is in. I got the good in. Okay. Uh, yes? <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's happening, though? This is gonna take me somewhere else, though. Y'all can't see this. But there's a marriage in, isn't there? I think I saw that on the page that there's a marriage in or something. Is this a new game file? Yep, it is. But, um, yeah, that's it. Honestly, if there's, if I can get like a better ending, I'm probably gonna go for it in another video. But this was so fun to play. I, I really love this. I'm gonna definitely link the game in the description. And um, also their own um, Kofi, so you can go support that if you want to. But yeah, this was so fun, and this was so beautiful, and nice and cute, and I loved it. So, yeah, that's it. See ya.